Hey guys, what's up? Connor here with another video for you guys. And today, I got some awesome um, tips and tricks for you guys for indoor setup for the Traxxas Slash. Um, I got a new pair of tires that work extremely well on carpet. I'm going to be sure to show you guys that. And I also got some new suspension setup that I'm going to be running on my truck. You guys can see right here. These are the shocks off the Slash. So yeah, um, got some new suspension. Got some new tires for the Slash. We'll be going over that. And I also have a new surprise that I have going on the dirt bike soon, which is my 2016 KX250F. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That'll be the second half of this video. First half will be going over what we did with the Raptor. But I need you guys to be sure to subscribe. The channel is almost at 100 subscribers, and I'll be sure to do an awesome video for you guys at 100 subscribers. At the timing of this film, we are at 98, I believe. So if you're viewing and you aren't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. Awesome videos coming soon. And uh, yeah, um, we're in the winter months right now, so it's sort of hard to do outside stuff. But uh, as soon as summer comes around, be sure to stay tuned. A lot of awesome videos coming. So let's go ahead and jump into what we did with the Slash. Alrighty guys, so uh, first part of the video, like I said, is going to be going over the Slash and the new indoor setup. If you guys uh, checked out my previous video where I went over what... I normally take the indoor track and my indoor setup on my slash. Um, this is like almost a completely different setup. Um, I did have some success with the old setup, but this setup definitely is a lot better. I'm still working out fine tuning it on my slash just because it's all new to me. But um, we're getting there. So um, first thing we're going to go over is the tires. You guys can see here, um, any of you short course guys that are checking out the video, this tire tread may look familiar, especially if you own a Team Associated. These are the Team Associated stock tires that come on them. These tires are absolutely amazing for indoor. With the previous tires I was running, like I put in my old video, I did have a little bit of push coming into the turns, but these definitely grip a hundred times better, and you can turn on the spot. Um, it actually, the first time I put them on, I had my old setup on with the old tires, and I actually flipped on about every turn. There is that much grip. So that's what I'm still working on figuring out is the body roll and everything with these tires. Um, but yeah, I'm going to still go ahead and show you guys what I have my truck set on. Um, so suspension here, I have them all off because I just rebuilt all the shocks. And if you didn't check out my shock rebuilding video, be sure to check it out. It's on the channel. Just go to my videos and you'll scroll down. You should be able to see it. But uh, the front shocks here, I believe I put... A little bit um, heavier weight in the front. I believe I put 50 weight shock oil in the front and 45 in the rear. Um, hopefully, this gives me a little bit more um, control on the truck um, from experience. I believe it will. But, you know, it's always a testing game. You never know what it's going to um, control like until you drive it. So, moving on from that... We'll get under the hood here, my slash, and you guys can see it's basically the same setup I had um, when I did my last video on what I have all done to my slash. But uh, you can see there, right there, where it just focused, um, I have my suspension on the front on my RPM A arms the whole way out to the widest position, and on the top I just have them on the stock. But on the rear I have it from the s it's the second one in from the end for the bottom and on the top I just have it in the stock position again so this gives me a pretty wide you know what I mean low stance it sits the truck pretty low keeps it low to the ground and on turns it helps out with keeping it low that it doesn't want to roll too much now I am um, pretty excited to try this out I didn't try all these um, settings out on my A-arms yet with the tires and the shock different and the weight but um, I'm pretty excited to try it. Should help out a lot, and hopefully we can get a few good races in with it. And if you guys want to see some races, be sure to like, like the video and comment uh, races or whatever you guys want to see on the on the channel, because I always like hearing what you guys want to hear and uh, what you guys want to see on the channel, so I can base new videos off of that. So, but yeah, um, we'll go ahead and move on to the new surprise for the dirt bike. Alrighty guys, so I walked out here to the garage and this is the new um, surprise I got for you guys for the dirt bike. Any of you guys that follow the channel for my 2016 KX250F, 
there is more videos coming. So um, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Like I said, we're almost at 100 subscribers. And if you want to see more dirt bike videos, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe because there's more coming. But getting into the plastics, I got the Acerbis um, uh, plastic kit for it, the stadium plastics. The stadium plastics have the front plate like that. You guys can see there it has extensions on there. Set that up there. Um, unboxing the front fender. There's what that'll look like on the bike. We got a green front fender. Put the plastic up there. We got the two number plates in black. We got the black rear fender. We got the two front black um, port guards. And we got the uh, shrouds. And then we got the two zip ties to hold on the stadium plate. Like I said, it has the extensions there that you need to hold on. But yeah, um, you guys can see the stock plastics on the bike right there. And I will definitely try to do a uh, putting like an installation video of these plastics on the dirt bike th itself. Um, yeah, it should be a good video and hopefully you guys like it. It's going to completely change the look of the bike. I got graphics coming for it too so if you guys want to see those be sure to um let me know in the comment section below but yeah got the plastics up there you guys can sort of see right there what they are i'm using the bat tonic cover on my truck to uh, hold these up but yeah this is the box came in pretty decent size but yeah so that was the surprise on that um hope you guys like them if you like them um and have any other ideas on what i should do with the bike leave them in the comments below but yeah, um, as you guys can see, walk outside here, it is raining and snow all over the ground. So that is the reason why I haven't been doing any like slash off-roading videos or anything else. But I also have a question for you guys. I don't know what my plan is yet, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing a new RC here before long. Um, I'm debating between two of them. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any of you guys drive RCs out there, let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to be getting a new crawler, and I'm leaning towards the Axial SCX-10 II CRC edition. comes with the CRC rear bumper and front bumper. I really like it. Um, it's a Jeep, and yeah, I was thinking that that would create some good video content for you guys, and I'm sure you guys would like that, because I know you guys like the crawling videos of the my cousin's G-Made and my old Axial. You know you guys like them. So yeah, he's going to be getting an Axial SCX-10 II II. So it'll be two of them running, and I think you guys will really like it. So I'm leaning towards one of those, and I'm also leaning towards a Team Associated SC5M. That would be another two-wheel drive short course truck. That would be my race truck that I would completely convert into a race truck, and my slash that you guys could see, that you guys seen is the 2017 Raptor. That would be my like practice beater truck that I just run around the house and do whatever with. So yeah, um, do you guys think? That I should get the Axial or the Team Associated, or you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, I'm open to all suggestions. But yeah, so, um, moving on. That will be the end of this video. And, like I said, be sure to subscribe. If you're not already, um, be sure to hit the like button. And, and uh, be sure to share with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Until my next video, I'll see you guys later.